Hello, I am Louis Wong Kisong, a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic, and today I shall briefly discuss the topic of stent placement and removal in the esophagus. A stent, such as this one, is a hollow expandable tube that is placed at the time of endoscopy, and its major use in the esophagus is to relieve an obstruction or blockage due to cancer. Following its, ex its expansion across a blockage, the stent allows the patient the ability to swallow at least liquids and even soft foods. More recently, stents have been placed to manage benign, that is non-cancer, conditions of the esophagus, such as perforations, leaks at the site of recent surgery in the esophagus, so-called anastomotic leaks, fistulas, which are abnormal communications between the esophagus and other organs, and finally, stricture or narrowing of the esophagus from a variety of causes other than cancer. A stent that is placed to relieve obstruction from cancer of the esophagus is typically left in place indefinitely, whereas a stent that is placed to treat a benign, non-cancer condition is usually a temporary measure. In this situation, the stent can be left in place for a variable period of time, typically two to 12 weeks, and sometimes even longer, depending on the condition that is being treated. Removal of a stent is generally straightforward and involves extraction using a forceps type device at the time of endoscopy. The overall technical success, that is the ability to place a stent at the time of endoscopy, is excellent in the range of 90% and above. The clinical success, however, defined by improvement in symptoms and resolution of the underlying problem is variable and is in part determined by the underlying disease being treated. In many cases, however, the outcome is generally successful. Thank you.